Might need to watch this, Matthew. It's a little foggy. <laughs> Usual place, down the middle. <laughs> nice shot there. Eh? That's all good, yeah, that's all good. How far past me are you going then, Captain 8? <sighs> well, first swing of the day. I ran 12k yesterday. Did you? Well, we're going to talk about that. This is a Matt smash video. Matt has changed. Let's see how far past he gets me with this one. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a oh. rip. So you're gonna win online and carry there. This will be a good start. <laughs> oh bum. So since lockdown, you've definitely come back quicker. We'll show some measurements as the video goes on. Yeah. Um, you've definitely come back with more speed. You've had a couple of posts that you posted when you were capturing data on your own in the room the other day. Yeah. Like 311 carry. 311 carry, bro. I mean, I don't think you've ever... Well, like, you kiss them. I don't reckon you're doing anything to them, are no, you? No, I'm not. It's all about these, isn't it? It's all about the power pin. So we're going to talk about what Matt has done. And it's kind of like distance luck. By, ac <laughs> by luck. Well, it's not luck because you, uh, you knew you were excited to test if you were going to be faster. Yeah, yeah. Because you're clever enough to know that this is going to translate. But it wasn't ever the intention for golf, was no, it? No, not at all. Not well, at let's all. talk about it as we go down and see how far past me you are. So here's my drive. And the problem I've got on this hole is I have to try and carry that bunker. Yeah. Or that's skip right it. on your limit, isn't it? It is right on my limit. That's the point which pushes yeah. me into this sliver. Well the, well, the way the hole's designed, really. Clever. Yeah, for it's, your length. it's clever. like my... And I'm a golfer of a gone by era basically yeah, yeah. if you like and then like you are i'm going to zoom but we will walk down i don't know if you're getting that on the camera he is right down there two reasons he's right down there a he can carry this bunker and he's it in the down slope and rolling yeah. but i reckon you're carrying that 20 yards probably further than yeah well i reckon so on the angle where the t is my ball would have ended up here if yeah. it missed the bunker which it wouldn't have obviously um it and yours back. Yeah, so I reckon you're carrying where I'm finishing, which yeah. is about fair. If I hit this 265 on the air, mm. I reckon it's gone 275, 280 at the most. Mm -hmm. And I reckon you've carried yours near That's the 300. The day as well, isn't it? Yeah, you've only. Uh, mine is the first swing as well, actually, sir. Yeah. Well, if we're going to use that. I saw you in the old. Yeah, I hit two shots to see if the video was working on them, just a new okay. system. <laughs> So I'm 129, so I'm going to hit a 52. Ah. So we're going to middle of the green, so working on the, this part of the course, so we're out early. Yeah. Now this is where we can flip it, as we'll talk about, but we'll walk down to Matt. So we're just going middle of the green, because the flag is out, like I say here, we've arrived at Matt, so what have you got? How have I got? Well, you were 97 to carry the bunker, and I'm 32. Wow. So that's what, 65? Yeah. Um, 65 yards different. Um, I mean, that is massively different to where we left golf before lockdown. Yeah. Because it was, you were always longer than me, but I was able to sneak you with a perfect hit in your bad one, where I feel at the minute, even your average one's going to be up past my good one. Yeah, I think so. And like the fitness thing like i've been I've actually when was the when did i start running this will be quick so. so what have you done tell me you're saying that you started running there that's the trick for you is it yeah so i started running on january the 28th 2019 okay so a year and a half ago yeah and i started doing it because like we i wouldn't play golf between trips like people take the mick at my golf because I'm rubbish, but I don't play during trips yeah, yeah. generally. Um, and we would go and play six, seven rounds in a week. Yeah. And it's gruesome, isn't it? Yeah. And it's fun. I'm not complaining. People don't read that as it's not a complaint, but yeah. it's physically hard work with the travel. Yeah. Carrying the cameras often in the Moving heat. In hotels every night and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and then between trips, I wouldn't be doing anything and I'd just be going from one extreme to the other and I'd generally get home from those trips and be ill because I was just so Yeah, you'd just down. be ran down, 
virusy yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah, all cold. Like Lauren would always be like, "Oh, you're always ill when you get back." So yeah, I just yeah. decided to try and get a bit fitter. Um, and my first run, I ran 2.4k, and I had to stop twice because I was so unfit. And I ran it at a 618 pace every kilometer. So obviously we're just playing middle of the green and this is where you can flip it. There's Matt Mr. Green left there. Obviously if I practice a bit more, I can still take him yeah. or not. But the advantages is with you. And then what are you running now? How does it work? I'm not much of a runner, me. So, um i'm now running i i've i wanted to build up to 10k races as well so i had that in my mind and i've done loads of them now which is all cool um and i'm doing them in around 50 minutes and i'm running 5ks on an average of 4.45 per kilometer so i've taken off a minute and a half every kilometer that i'm running since i started a year and a half ago yeah so it's a year and a half of secret training yeah but it wasn't, wasn't secret i knew you were well, yeah i know that's what's like, so much that's what's so fun you have yeah. literally just powered up yeah the pins and the what pins, is interesting yeah. is we were talking about it the other day coming out of lockdown and even just going in before your trousers you were like i might need to get bigger trousers because yeah. your top parts of your legs yeah, your thighs were, like, were noticeably funny. yeah bigger but i was looking the other day like this muscle's just suddenly come yeah like i never used to have this one here it was like you're growing up Matt. yeah i know yeah <laughs> um and it was all it's all thanks to um a guy called andrew watson he uh, lives in ireland um he's a physio guy first mm. time i went running my feet hurt and i tweeted it saying what shoes shall i wear yeah and he just emailed me because he watched um i'll put his links in the description yeah do because he's well. helped me with my golfer's elbow yeah, as well yeah. remotely which really just helps and it. he's really big i think he does um irish gaelic football he's uh oh he's a physio for, for one of those teams one of those is he? teams yeah so he's big he knows um, what he's on about Ireland, yeah and he just emailed me and said it's nothing to do with shoes wear ones that are comfy this this and this hurts because of this this and this yeah and we made those a bit stronger and like literally Two weeks later, everything was fine, and we built programs to just make me get to 10k races to start with. Amazing. So let's look at where your speed is coming from, yeah, and what it's got to. Yeah. So I've captured um, some data with Swing Catalyst on my normal drives and my bomb ball. Explain that, bruh. Oh, 300 on the fly. And I'm spinning at 3,000. Imagine if that was 2,000 spin. Right, we've got the pressure plate on with Swing Catalyst and some high speed camera and the launch monitor dialed in as well. So we're going, Matt's going around 117 yard, uh, 170 miles per hour clubbed speed up to the one that you see in the video at 123. Now, the two shots, uh, you've got a 277 carry going a long way right. And then the second shot was a 315 carry. We got one of them at 315 carry. So a massive jump between his I wanna hit fairway shot to him just trying to smash it as far as possible. Now we did a study with Steve Buzzer a couple, few years back where he tested us and lots of other people, I think it was for his dissertation, um, if we're better going flat out or if we're trying to hit fairway. And what's interesting for Matt, even though this 315 yard drive is a bit left, he can game that because he can aim down the right. Everyone sees Matt liking to aim down the right. His more kind of relaxed speed shot, the one that is more comfortable for him, is off the screen right, which is what we see. He's better running at full speed. It's just kind of having the, the guts to do that. So where is this speed coming from? So two swings here side by side, just impact, just post impact. And you're gonna see two noticeable things. He's more off his lead foot. So he has jumped more off his lead foot on the left swing here. Um, you can see less pressure on the lead foot. We actually see it going into the balls of his foot and not into his heel, but getting close to his heel on the right hand pressure. And also we see a spike in his vertical force by pressure, getting into the 
black bar here, which is the tour averages, which he doesn't do with his pat pat swing or is, is safe for swing. So basically, he's using vertical force to increase the force that he applies down by the ball. A little test for you at home watching this video. If you want to think about in gaining speeds with technique, which Matt is doing here, just stand up wherever you are. Might look a bit mad if you just got out of bed and you're standing up. Now I want you to do a jump from static, just as high as you can, bend down and jump up and feel where you jump from. So for me, as I bend down, I move the pressure onto my toes to push off my toes to jump up. If I put all the pressure in my heels and try and jump, it's kind of half the height I feel like I can get. So he is basically moving his pressure onto his left and right toe, getting ready to lift off, to jump, which you can see in the two videos, and we see it from the videos we've captured outside where his lead foot is, is jumping off. Now that is created by him pushing down and forwards into the mat. So he's pushing down and into towards the launch monitor and that pushes back, which is why we see the release of the jump. The same as what you did or I did there to jump, I pushed down and forwards to then let the ground push back at me to send me up. So he isn't trying to jump, he's actually trying to push down and forwards. He's doing none of this consciously because what's interesting with Matthew, if you watch, is both the pressures, the left and the right here, the traces are very, very similar. You've just got ones with bigger spikes and lesser spikes. He uses his toes slightly more, puts that pressure into his toes and pushes it forward more on the jump a bit higher, but he's not doing that with conscious thought. That's just happening, how he's working out how to gain speed, the same way you did when you just jumped, if you did it. What he is actually doing is, which is, I think, really interesting, because he's using the same, very similar trace with pressure, very similar, but doing one with more jump and one with less, which is why Matt can flick between both swings. Even though he's more successful hitting target with one, he can flick between both swings that not that difficult. Or it's certainly not that hard for him to go at the full speed one because it's not that dissimilar to his safety one. For me, on contrast, and lots of people watching down this lens, people I've taught over the years, I would be turning, you'd see my heel at impact, pushing down on this plate. Um, it's not until lockdown where I try hitting somewhere I jump, which is where you see me doing this funkier swing, um, where I put my pressure out onto my toes because I'm trying to get some vertical force in there, where before I've always been taught that you move your pressure onto your right foot and onto your left, never really thinking of any shears and up and down pressures and forces, which is massive, as you can see from Matt here, gaining impressive amounts of speed. Post comments down below, let me know what you think. What I love about this, is that Matt, for, for me and anyone watching, technique can take you X far and you can make gains. But fitness is where I think Matt's seen the major gains and then he has a technique already that gives him a lot of speed. So for me, I don't have a technique that particularly is built around speed, it's more accuracy. So if I wanna increase speed, I'm gonna to have to change my technique a bit, which you're seeing certainly changed my physical being. Matt's legs have gone from a one out of 10 now to on fitness levels and strength levels. He's probably up near a six, seven, or maybe an eight with the amount of running he's doing, which is why we're seeing spikes in that distance. So I think there's gains everywhere, but where we all look for our gains is in the equipment, isn't it? It's in these new drivers and these new things. That's really easily marketed at you. And I get why people find it interesting. I've seen no real gains over the last 10 years and the stats will show that the RNA are controlling it. Matt, in the period of a year or so, has shown massive gains. Myself in lockdown, not that I can keep it on the planet as easily, but I've shown huge gains and trying to show more by thinking of technique and by thinking about fitness. I do honestly feel that a lot of coaches, me included, have been getting it wrong for a long, long time. There's gains, if you want them. And the sad truth is, how many of you have joined a gym and then stopped going? That's kind of what this boils down to. Come on, down there, let me know.